Greetings, YouTube. Happy Crystal Opening Commentary Weekend. I am still uh, so pumped about the first chance I had based off of strictly uh, summoner suggestions in the comments of my live stream to do a live Crystal Opening Commentary. It went really well. I got an overwhelming amount of positive feedback from people that they want me to do more of them. Of course, live streams I do once, maybe twice a day if I'm lucky, but also zero times a day when my schedule gets crazy like today. So because of that, um, most of my commentaries will still be not online or live, but offline. And uh, that leads us to HHRYU. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. How about this? Six star Emma Frost. Like a boss taking out the Grandmaster. Oh, snap. That's the first time in a commentary I've ever seen it start off with Emma saying goodbye. Goodbye. Grandmaster. So, there you go. There you have it. This is uh, certainly something that is very, very exciting for this summoner because indeed we have everything from a six star Nexus Crystal to a six star Awakening Gem. This is what Beating and fully exploring Act 6 is all about. Congrats, maybe, on getting mutant? I don't know if that's what you wanted. All right. Maybe you want mutant. Heck, maybe you want to take that Emma Frost that just carried you in that last fight to rank 3 at some point. I guess if she's still rank 1. Tech. Is that a good thing? I have no idea. <laughs> no clue. Here are the eight regular calves. It's very rare for me to see a six star out of these, but even a five star. Uh, okay, Rocket as a first five star, that's awesome. And that's it. Well, that's, that's better than average, believe it or not. It still really irks me that there are three stars in Cavalier Crystals. I think there shouldn't be three stars, and I think that they should finally eliminate the four-star gate, which was made just to be shady and not have certain synergies be possible with being Cavalier in general. I know so many summoners who have skills, way more skills than I do, to take on Cavalier status with their four stars but can't bring them in. And now we have an awakening of a skill champ. That is one of the best awakening gems to get because when you think about even the combo of Nick Fury and Aegon, Having that at your disposal when you open one of them is just so clutch. All right, now we've got a couple of five stars, a six star. This is really going to determine if this is worth it. And he's going for the six star first. I thought he would do the five, but I sit corrected. 100% act six. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Who's that six star going to land on? And it is Old Man Logan, Old Balls. Well, that's a much better pull than University of Phoenix or Deadpool X-Force. Although I know people who really, really want Deadpool X-Force for the synergies mainly. So I should mention that as a caveat to that pull. <laughs> now let's open some six stars. Hey, sure, why not? Anything else before the Nexus? You don't want to open the five stars? Do you even remember you have some five stars? Apparently not. All right. You know the drill on these. We're going to get ready to pause it so we can figure out who the best pool is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Interesting. I was going to say more interesante. Uh, because Omega Red came to his account. Sorry, Red Hulk. Sorry, Awakening of Iron Man Infinity War. But, man, that's a dream. I have opened quite a few of these, thanks in mostly large part to uh, the July 3rd weekend sales. And 6 Star Omega Red never popped out of one of mine. I'm a little jelly. All right. Just get it over with. Pick Omega Red. It's a no-brainer. There you go. Suddenly, that X6 exploration is a whole lot more worth it when you pull a champ like that out of the Nexus. Because we have seen so many trash Nexus. We have seen... You know, Groot, King Groot, and Kingpin out of a Nexus, for example. Or he's already got Aegon Awakened. 
He needs a six star Nick Fury next. Oh, what's up, Black Widow Deadly Origin? Yeah. The six star uh, Nick Fury is who you should use that Awakening Gem on, without a doubt. Pretty cool you've got Magneto, too. Awakened as well. Okay. And then there was a second video added on to this. Nine. Maybe it's the five stars that he didn't open? No, it's the four hour cast. <laughs> Oh, that would be weird. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. First of three. Survey says Elsa, looking at the blood from a stone. Is this the first time Platinum Star of Elsa? It is not. Clearly used an Awakening Gym, though, because she's only Sig 10. Before that, dupe to Sig 30. All right, number two. Maybe he can get a five-star Nick Fury to this. And Omega? Oh, I was going to say five-star and six-star Omega right in the same batch of pools, but hey, Domino. Heck yeah. And, uh, and so, yeah, you've had two great pulls from these five-stars. So, yeah, I would say, overall, this is totally worth the 100% exploration, given that you can... And there's Omega! Oh, that's funny. That's really funny. Uh, given that you have a 6-star Omega ride, you can now work on someday getting awakened, and you have a way to uh, awaken 6-star Nick Fury as soon as you get him, hopefully, sooner than later. So, you know, I, uh, I think this was a really solid Act 6 exploration opening. I've seen a lot worse, for sure. Would you be happy with this if you opened this YouTube? Comment below, let me know. And thanks again to this summoner for submitting this crystal opening to commentate.